Ah, what's happening? What's going on? Just wait in there, Dylan. Just wait in there. Oh, God. Dr. K's gonna fix you up. Bloody better. <laughs> what's going on? Is this what death looks like? Am I dead? Guys! I can hear you talking right here! Hmm, I've got an idea. You could be my next experiment. <laughs> no, what? What are you saying? Marty! Marty! <clears throat> it was you all along, wasn't it? You created this virus! My work will change the world. <laughs> The serum is almost complete. There's the final product, and the world will soon see. I will now address you as Patient Zero. My friend, I am sorry, but your request to see your family again is rejected. The world is my experiment. I always wanted to push the boundaries of science. I have been called a maniac, but no, I am no maniac. I am a scientist with a high curiosity, knowledge and a good will to pursue my dreams. My dream will come true. The virus is almost complete. And don't worry, you will not fail like the other subjects. You are the complete subject. The virus is now going to do its job. The good thing about science is that there are no limits. You, the authorities, the government cannot tell me what I can and can't do. Because when it comes to science, democracy is laughed at. There are no laws. The limits are always pushed, and will be pushed further in the coming weeks. <laughs> Your time is up, my friend. Prepare to become part of the undead. <laughs> it was you. You created the virus. Um, I think you suffer from the medicine. Um, here, Dylan, let me give you another dose. No, let him speak. It was him. The doctor created the virus. He told me while I was in a coma. He told me his entire story. How he was in the lab and used innocent humans as his test subjects. He then drove to a city and sent the zombies onto innocent civilians. I don't know what you're talking about. Dylan, are you sure? Dylan. Uh, I'm down here. Oh, I think I hit my head. Just come this way, just get back. That's a crawl. Oh god, yeah. Try and get that head crap. Ooh, okay, great. I'm back to earth now. These head crabs are really the worst. Right, gas station, got a game plan. I think we've lost them now. <laughs> we've not lost them, look at them. They know where we are. That one up there does. Right. For some reason they can see exceptionally well zombies, I don't know why. I forgot this is his experiment place. Right, I don't think he's coming back in. What is it that he calls them? Subjects? Subjects. Like, what's he done? He's clearly not just infected these. I mean, some of them are burnt. I feel like these are experiments gone wrong and he's burnt them. Look at this one's face. Jesus. Because you know, you know, you, 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 do, you do it in, in like real life, don't you? Like, if like a massive major disease happens, do you burn the bodies to stop it from spreading? I mean, he is, he didn't try and stop it spreading though, did it? And, oh, watch out here, look. I, we don't know what these vials are. Yeah. If, if that gets inside your bloodstream, then you don't know what's going to happen, do you? Shouldn't we move these? No, 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 I'm not touching that. I'm just going to stand all the way over here. I'm not touching that. Uh, we could, I don't know, blow them up. Uh, no, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to release it into the air. Maybe when we leave, but here's my game plan. Just checking. I don't so, think they know. I think it's all clear for now. Yeah, get back inside. Yeah. 
Right, here's my game plan. I think we attack. We know their base All is them? over there. Not the zombies. I reckon we attack the base. Not obviously directly swinging guns, make everyone know that we're there. No, no, no. I've got another plan. We go over there with maybe a grenade. Or maybe. So we, I've got two plans. Subtle plan A or loud plan B. So, here's my loud plan. We go in there, we plant a bomb, blow it up. But the difficult part of that is uh, we don't have a bomb that we could just press and then it'll blow up and also how are we even going to get in the base? But the I was going to say, like, the ironic part of your loud plan is we need to be sold. Yeah. And the subtle plan is be very, very sneaky, kill them one by one, hide the bodies one by one, one by one, one by one, and eventually, when there's enough of them, shoot out time. But I don't think we can do that on our own, and I think we might need to uh, radio back to base to maybe get a few men down. So I was going to say, I have a plan, but uh, you, I don't know if you would. Basically, we use someone as a decoy. We get we get them inside of the base, get the guards to come out, and then like that person leads them on a goose chase. They just be running around, and then we get the guards away from the base itself, so me and you can then sneak in. That's a good idea. Maybe another. I've got another idea. Maybe we attract zombies towards the base, and then they grab a zombie problem. Then the problem with your plan is that um, they're just gonna bunker down in the base, so they're not gonna. They're, they're not gonna. Draw it out. With my plan, we can draw them out. Basically, it's a suicide mission for the guy that's doing it, but he's taking one for the team, really. I don't think we need to lose more people than we need to. Uh, I'm thinking we attract a herd there. That herd <sighs> over there. Instead, we go get that speaker again. We go place it near the base. The siren sounds, all the zombies in the city. I reckon we hide the siren as well, so they're not going to find it. And then, woo, the bamboozled. They don't know where the siren is, they won't be able to turn it off, and every zombie in the city is going to go towards their base. Well, if you think it'll work, then do it. let's do it. So, uh, alright, let's go. Who's that? Don't open it. We're not expecting anyone, do not open it. Drop your weapons and come out slow. Is it safe? Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> we know you're in there and we have you surrounded. Oh. Tom and Dawn have been gone for so long, and they said they were only going to the city. This can't be good. I need to go look for them. I don't get why you're not letting me go. You've got plenty of fighters here to help defend the base, but this is something I need to do. I need to look for my friends. They could be trapped, or worse, eaten, or one of Kleiner's experiments. I, I won't be able to rest easy until I find out. I am going. God, where are we? You again? It's him. It's him again. It's after. It's after Jack captured us. What do you want from us? <laughs>